Hey everybody, Don Giannetti, lighting-essentials.com and project52prosystem.com. If you don't know about the prosystem.com, check down below. There's a little bit more information for you. It's a community. It's awesome. Today, I want to talk a little bit about time management. I'm self-employed. I've been in self-employed for most of my adult life. Uh, don't like working for people like working for myself. Being self-employed has lots and lots of challenges. Some of them are legal, some of them are taxes, some of them are all that kind of bullshit, but the number one, the number one challenge is time management. No matter what anybody says, you are working for a boss named you. The boss I work for, Total asshole. Seriously. I can't call in sick when I'm sick. I can't really take a day off when I just want to take a day off. I can't do a lot of things. I am chained to this desk by this infuriating boss named me. Because I know if I don't get it done, it doesn't get done. And if I don't get it done, it directly affects me. See, if I worked in a cubicle, that little old, you know, Herman Miller thing going on here, a little picture of the wife and the kids, a little, you know, little flower stuck over here, pencil sharpener and all that cool shit. I would have no real incentive to get things done except maybe somebody yell at me or whatever because I come in at nine, I go home at five, and if the work didn't get done, it didn't get done, we'll do it tomorrow. The next day, it'll, you know, it'll go. Because big companies, they move like a snail sometimes. Remember, I worked a little bit as a uh, fill-in art director for an ad agency, oh, 10, 10 years ago. And I was surprised by how slow things were. I am self-employed. I own my own ad agency, and I know how fast we got things done because we were focused on that bottom line. Time, not money. Time. Time is the asset that we have, and it's limited. Gary Vaynerchuk likes to point out to uh, folks, you're going to die. You know, it's one thing to think about you're going to die when you're 30. It's another thing to think you're going to die when you're pushing 70. That you're going to die kind of goes, yeah, <laughs> damn straight. And sooner than later, probably. Of course, I hope I got another 25 years in me. Can you see me 96 years old going, All right, it's time to set up the, what'd you call it, the, uh, the light. Anyway, look, time management. That's what this whole thing is about. You have to control your time. You don't have a boss at the other end other than you telling you you got to get stuff done, so you got to get it done. One of the ways I do it is I segment my day. I spend specific amount of time doing things that have to be done every day. I believe social media has to be done every day. I believe it. I'm committed to social media marketing. I think that if you're not doing social media marketing, <laughs> I don't have a clue what to tell you. Good luck. You're going to need it. The world is social media today. So understand that. So I segment that out. I do that in the morning. I do it in the evening. I then set out, okay, I have to write this article. I have to do this video. I'm going to do a vlog. So my vlog time is set out and I know what I'm going to do at each time period. And then I block out in those time periods, I block out those, uh, some time for, for the fires, you know, the fires that have to be put out, you know, someone calls, client calls with a uh, somebody, I got to drop what I'm doing and I got to go do that. That happens. Happens all the time, right? So I say, okay, I'm going to write for two hours. I'm really only going to write for about an hour and a half because I'm going to have these other things going on. Then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break because you got to get up and move around. Sitting is like smoking. Sitting is like beating your head against the wall. Apparently, at, at, at some point, you're, you're going to you know hurt something. Sitting is bad. You sit all day long. You're courting disaster. I know. I've been there in the ER with the doctor telling me, call your family. 
you won't make it through the night from sitting. But enough about me and my medical problems. Let's talk about you and me and our time problems. Set up a calendar. Do it rigorously. How much time do you need to do social media? 15 minutes? 30 minutes? Whatever it is, block it out. Put a little time in the middle before your next block and then block it out. And block it out with giving you enough time to get done what you need to get done. And also understand that some things are going to take a priority. Some things are just going to be more important to get done than other things. That's the way life works. <sighs> Tequila. Anyway, you, tr you create this series of boxes throughout the day and you'll get things done. You have to get control over where you're going and where you were. So as you go back through your pages, and by the way, I do this on paper, not on the damn computer. I do it on paper. I do it with a pencil on paper. Because when you do a pencil on paper, you remember. When you do it on a computer, it sits on a file somewhere. My list is sitting right over here. It's everything I need to do today. It's my day is blocked out. Every little block today, and I'll be done about 7.30 when I do the last webinar for the day. Then, I relax and I can walk away from my day knowing I got done all the things I put in a row to get done. Time management is a giant gorilla that stands in the corner and beats you up because not only do you not get things done if you're not managing your time, you start beating yourself up for not getting things done because you spent too much time doing fill in the blank, playing on Facebook, uh, going to the store, d doing something that wasn't on your list that really didn't bring you any value. How many times do we do that? What's bringing you value? Ask yourself that because as you're setting up the time, you have to put the things that bring you value in those boxes. If you're designing a website, make sure that you have time for that website. If you're talking to clients, schedule that time. Don't let your clients call you all during the day Set up some times like, yeah, I'm available between 9 and 10 on tomorrow, Mr. Client. Yes, Miss Client, I'm available between 3 and 4. The projects that you're working on between 3 and 4 are extraneous projects that you can get done even if you get pulled away by a phone call. And you've got to control those phone calls. Look, time stops for no one. It doesn't slow down. It doesn't speed up. Well, if you're getting ready to do three shots on the beach at sunset and you need that sun back there, it speeds up then. The sun goes down faster when you're shooting. This is a scientific fact. You can look it up. I've seen it happen. I have. Time is your beast to control. I've got some ideas how we can do it and I'll share these with you as we get farther uh, along in the vlog, but time management is so very, very important and the top of your list of things you've got to control to be a freelance photographer. If you like this clip, if you like what I'm doing, because I got some other videos, I think you can see them over there and see them down here. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Send me a note, say, Don, I like what you're doing. Send me a note that say, hey, Don, shut the hell up. Whatever, it's okay. I'm here for the long haul. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.